put me on um, screen capture. Thank you for letting me know that you guys are hearing me. So at this time I'm on the hello echo. I'm going to create the file test again. And then this time I'm, um, I just created that file, uh, cut minus N and this. And then I, I said hello person one through five. In this case, I'm going to uh, show you uh, another symbolic link this time. And um, so I created the file on uh, this and then uh, make a symbolic link for this to TS. And um, do a, uh, this and TS and uh, list minus li, uh, li, this and TS. You can see the inode numbers are still different. This time I am going to uh, just uh, remove that uh, file TS. The, uh, as you can see that it has nothing to do with, if you just remove the TS, then because you're just uh, deleting that pointer, it has nothing to do with the file. Um, all it is uh, is that every time you create uh, the file stats and this, uh, number of link is one, I'm going to create a hard link this time to this file, this. So let me just do uh, LN. And you can see the number of links here too is one for the um, file that is um, original file. So and the link uh, without the minus S, the minus S for symbolic link or soft link. So you could say this and then give it um, uh, T hard link, dash hard link. So now I created that file t that short link. So I'm going to say ls minus l d t star. Okay, there's a lot of them. I just need to do exactly what I'm looking for. Clear the screen, ls minus l t this and t dash hard link. So these two files are there. And now I wanna also uh, do hard link uh, and uh, ts three of them. At this time, if you look at the inode number for all these three files, um, notice that uh, hard link in the file this is just having same um, inode number, uh, eight, uh, 19 at the end, those two. If I just create another hard link using this command with hard link, yeah, link, and I'm gonna just say hard link two. And so this one, I'm going to just say, show me all, I uh, love them with a star. No, notice that um, no matter how many you create a hard link, they all point to the same inode number, okay? So deleting one of them has nothing to do with another one. And that because they have their own uh, uh, inode structure, they will just have a hard link to um, point to the same. It's almost like a copy of it, but have the same the, verse, the difference between this one versus copy, the inode number with the hard link are the same. And then hard link, I could not uh, make it across file system versus symbolic link. So if I just look at the hard link of that one, let me just make one more and then call it uh, three and then run the same command again. Notice that the inode numbers of all those files are the same inode number. So if I just do, uh, as you can see, whenever you make a hard link, the number of links uh, grows. It was one originally, it's two, it's three here, and then if I do it on the uh, one more time, it is gonna be fifth. So now I just run this command, the inode numbers are five of them for the same file, this there. If I just now remove the fourth one, uh, say rmt dash star um, link four. So now I delete that file. I just run it and now it's back to four, the number of uh, links. And if I just uh, delete uh, three, it's gonna show a uh, number of link is uh, decreasing, three. And let me just delete everything with um, K uh, hard link star. Uh, now there's no hard link. 
that uh, this will be just showing one and um, this file um, there's no uh, file anymore so only those two and then you can see that this is uh, having only um, one file if i just do this nts one um, uh, link if i do start on it start this um, is there so now the um, op option that was there at the time that I'm doing a hard link, I want to show you um, one hard link. Let's just create uh, this hard link uh, four. And uh, oh, sorry, four, not four. Let's say uh, where's my link? Yeah, this one. Let me just make number five. So at this time, if I just say uh, start uh, t-hard link 5. This one should say um, number of hard link is 2. Even though I uh, name it 5, doesn't matter. The system knows that I only have 2 hard link to that file. So it says number of hard link is 2. And then and the inode number, this one is the same as the other one. How do I know what this file, what it, where is the, this? If I just look at this file, and somebody, um, uh, your friend or your manager or someone at work says, I know that this file has uh, two uh, links, but I'm only seeing one of them. Where's the other one? How do I know? With symbolic link, you did ls minus lt uh, like this, ls minus ld uh, ts, and then you know that this point you to that one. But with the hard link, um, by looking at this, um, uh, file and this star and then no, not a stat. Let's say uh, ls minus cell this and then um, t dash hard link. From this one, uh, somebody unless it does that dash i is not gonna know it. But if somebody says, oh, these are two of them or uh, the same i note. How do I know that what is the other one for this if I just didn't know this information beforehand? Somebody just uh, looked at this, the start of this, and it says, oh, this I, I, I know number shows this. Where's the other link? What, it, it does not have any reference to that uh, link. All it says it has a two link. But on the I note, because it has the same I note number, so you could do find uh, dot on this directory where I am, uh, say find dot, um, I created those files here, I'm going to delete them. Uh, find dot, um, uh, and then I say, I'm looking for um, the file this, inum is this number. Sorry, uh, I uh, press my uh, fingers on somewhere where I shouldn't. So now um, it's so easy to know by I, I number, and then you say, oh, and this one, if it has 10 file numbers, let me just make another hard link. Say link minus, um, link this to um, a, a hard link one, and then hard link two, hard link uh, four, R link three and so on, R link five. It does that. Now, if I just say um, ls minus li hard link star question mark in one of them, and then I, I say the file this, and then there was one more file that I had um, hard link to it, and that was t dash hard link. So all these five of them, they have the same inode number. If, if somebody comes and says, I know this file called HL1, uh, and if I just do a stat on it, it shows uh, a number of links to it. In this case, maybe uh, two, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven links here, right? So if I see seven links, uh, how do I identify the rest of them? Find is your friend find dot minus inum, provide me the inode number, and then since I pasted earlier, I have it still on the buffer, I could do that. And then it listed there. 
So now I said, okay, yeah, they are there. I don't need these files there. I could just put on dash and delete. That would do it, okay? Or I could just say dash exec ls minus ld and then do this uh, syntax and list them for me. Uh, all of those files are there. And if I just want to say, okay, um, do that one, but remove everything except this. So I could say right here, I could uh, say, um, I could even say this one here while read, uh, while read var or something. I say grep minus v, the word this. So now this is taken out. I could remove the rest of them uh, within a while read a variable do. Uh, and then if I just want to say rm, um, but at this time I'm uh, not going to be able to rm because it's going to look for rm this. So if I say echo dollar sign var done, it will just show those ones. Now instead of that one, I'm going to do here, I'm just going to say uh, do another awk and then um, print dollar sign nine and then and do another grip. So at this time I just did that one and uh, say, okay, now I can do, and instead of echo the last one, I could say RM that one, and now it is gone. And then um, here, because I am on this file system, you can see that it is a lot uh, header files. I wanna make sure that I did not uh, left anything. The only file that I left is this, which I'm going to delete in TS. So if I just do ls minus L, LTR, uh, LTR, those two files are there, and, and uh, this, I'm going to delete them. So RM and this, t dash hard link 5 HL, um, and then question mark, and then TS. It's good to prompt it. Uh, take the prompt, that way you're not um, doing anything uh, out of ordinary. So right here now, all the header files are there and, and no extra garbage there. Um, so on the file system table, if I was uh, showing you on the VI, fs.header, the file system table, you can see this one. Under Le Linux, uh, there's limits, IOCTL types and everything. So all those one, uh, stream IO, IO standard IO.h, and uh, file system headers, and so many. And then you can see that the I know the structure is right here defined. But these ones could also be defined to another uh, I know uh, number of record, whatever is NR stand for. Uh, is uh, the um, I.O. So inode is a data structure that is um, telling you the size of the file. For example, if I just um, get out here and look at one of these files called USB, for example, is a directory. Let's say the file itself, fs.h. If I look at this fs.h, um, you see that this file has um, ownership of root and group uh, permission of root, that is also part of the inode data structure, the uh, fields of uh, the inode. So inode has uh, information about the entire thing, except the file name itself. The file name itself is uh, saved in the directory. And in this case, and the file systems are there, and um, the um, permission, the size of the file is there, well, how uh, much it uh, growth uh, this file and how much it shrinks and what is the actual size in bytes, it will show you there. And then um, the uh, timestamp of when the, this file uh, was created and um, when was last modified and uh, when was last accessed. So if I do a stat on it in fs.h, you can see a lot of other information. Like for example, the read, write, execute, was also showing right here. Remember the 644 versus um, 755? That one is by default, um, when you create a directory, 
it is uh, looking at the U mask, U mask, and then um, U mask. For example, when I touch a file, let's say touch this, uh, ls minus l this, this uh, has a 644 permission. If I do a stat on this, it will say that this is 644 permission. The reason is that, um, so um, busy calculator, it looks at the U mask. U mask is, in this case, is 022. So for files, um, it says 666 minus 022. That one is going to give me 644. That's how the originally, whenever you create a file for file, it uses this format of 666 minus U mask and it does it. So now let me just uh, delete that file or M this. I'm going to create a directory this time. I'm going to say uh, make dir new dir. ls minus ld new dir. New dir, if I just do a stat of new dir, notice this one is permission of 7555. Because a directory has to be executable by all, therefore, it, uh, in addition to read write for the owner, it has to add the X executable. Same thing for the group, same thing for the others. So instead of being 644, it also adds up a permission of executable bet, meaning that the owner should be able to CD to the directory. If you don't have an executable permission, you cannot CD to the content of that directory. So that's why 755. And how the 755 is defined again, the U mask is looked at, it's 002, and then busy calculator, in this case 777, minus um, um, 022, and that would give you 755. So no matter how many times you create a directory, by default, initially, it gets the permission of 755, unless you go later on and modify it. And if no matter how many times you create a file, touch a file, the permission becomes 644 because of what your, your mask is set. So for the directory 777 minus the U mask for the files is 666 minus U mask. And now I explained that one and let me explain this RM uh, directory and this a new dir. So now I'm deleting that new dir, but I want to show you uh, whenever you do a stat on it, it uh, tells you that uh, if there's any links for directory, normally at least there's two links. One is for the dot uh, directory, which is uh, the current directory one is from the parent. And then um, and the content of the directory is the files that are inside there. The permissions are there. The user ID is, in this case, is root. If I do um, get end password root, you can see the, on, uh, the user ID and group ID of root. This is the first uh, bit, uh, I'm sorry, and on the uh, etc shadow file, if I do a grip minus i root etc shadow, and um, notice that this information is written, and then I do the same thing on the password. So these files are important on the etc configuration files. The permissions of these files are basically what the permissions are. If you could look at the uh, root and the first one, which is uh, UID of this, so I could do a grep minus I root, and then I could just uh, uh, grep out that one or just say head minus one. I could do a lot of ways I could uh, look at that one to just only show me root. You could do a grep uh, zero colon zero, it will just uh, automatically come in. Grep, uh, let's say zero colon zero in ETC password and so you don't have to grip out. Sometimes it's much better to have short command than longer commands and multiple commands. Like some people say cut etc password, grip something. So and instead of that one, why don't you just do grip uh, on something on the etc password? There's a lot of easy ways, shorter form you could do it. Uh, I'll show you someday on the um, how uh, to do um, better, uh, faster, um, commands rather than uh, writing uh, long commands. So 
uh, at this time, if you look at the zero colon zero, zero is the user ID, zero is the group ID, and the second one, the first field is the owner, uh, uh, the user, the second one, X saying that there's a um, password on the shadow file, which is this encrypted password file there. And then um, let me clear the screen. Um, and then, so um, did I create any file here? No, that's good. So um, the file system, we discussed um, the permissions. Now I'm gonna go back to my root directory here since I'm root and I'm going to say, uh, do a stat on p1.py. So this is a Python program, uh, p1.py, and then if you look at it, uh, the last time this file was accessed, if you look at p1.py, you can see that access was, when was last time accessed? When was modified? If I do, uh, if I just say copy p1.py and, uh, and uh, from this, now I do the same uh, uh, let's start start notice the access file uh, file just modified today because i uh, used a read by doing a copy from it but the modification time did not change so the file that i just did with p1.py uh, uh, i copied it as this now if i do start of this the, notice that a modification access time all of that one is today now, if I just say echo uh, this and overwrite that file, this, I don't care the contents of it, it's just my copy. So um, I just did that one. Now I do another stat on it. Notice the time step of this one is a little bit different than the previous one because access was updated, modify was done, and change is done. And all that information is maintained by the inode structure on the file system. And the file system in this case is the file system that you're working on and, and uh, root uh, as the directory structure. But slash is the uh, main partition. So let me go back to the slash um, partition and then clear the screen and do ls minus l. So some of the file system we discussed um, that ETC uh, first up uh, root partition, which is uh, everything on the hierarchical from the top la layer. And then bin is um, binaries. Boot is the uh, grab to and grab um, bootable and device. Normally from the BIOS chip, whenever you boot your system, it consults your BIOS and then the BIOS is basically reading um, the first uh, 512 bytes of uh, blocks of code or in the, the case of grab is 1024 is allocated by default like one gig maximum or sometimes uh, we used to do it 100 make because it's not that uh, huge um, all of this is just um, configuration file and by for the image file if it is a large and uh, you have to do at least one gig depending on how what is your initial RAM disk and other images. But um, normally you allocate it and then in this case is uh, four uh, gig, it shows that um, or uh, 4,096 uh, byte, uh, which is um, around um, four uh, kilobyte and the slash boot. But uh, what the way you do it, you say disk usage minus a search boot, you will know exactly in this uh, case is 200 meg. Uh, so this is 496 ki kilobyte. Um, uh, every thousand is 1,024, four kilobyte. And then um, the dev is all the devices. So slash dev is all the devices, whether it's pseudo file systems, keyboard, terminals, uh, USBs and everything. So some of that the devices in this case, if I just look at the slash dev, um, SDA uh, something. Uh, SDA is the uh, SCSI disk. Um, the first one is um, uh, one uh, partition one, partition two, and then the first disk is SDA A. Second disk would be SDB, and third disk is DC, and so on. So if I just look at the content of that one, let's see if um, um, minus L slash dev slash SDA. This one is just showing me that this one has uh, the file um, 
system as Linux and uh, Linux uh, logical volume. And um, if I just do um, something like, for example, on A for the first one, uh, if I don't do this minus um, L listed, I can see the content of it by looking at it. So on, on SDA1, if I just do an M here, it will give me all the help. If I do a P for print, it will just print it if uh, there's anything on that file. So M is there. And then list is for uh, listing of all the file system that I can create. If I just say new, it will create a new. Now I just could say primary or extend it. I could go through it. But uh, let's say I go primary, it already says what um, partition I want to create. So the next default one is one. If I just say yes, first sector, where, where does it start? The last sector, where it does. Now if I just printed that logical volume come in, but then I have to associate a type for L uh, or something, and then I just choose a type for it. Let's say I want to do Linux. Linux LVM is 8E. 8E. Where's E? Right here. And then um, at this time, I'm not going to create it because if I just create uh, or, or say add new partition or something, the, the, that would, that partition will be actually created. But if I just do a, a W by accident, I may be writing this one and then later on I have to create a partition. So I'm not going to create any partition. I'm going to quit out of this and I didn't modify anything. So LS uh, BLK is also a, a good command to know it uh, shows you the device names um, and then the portation and everything. Um, so the file system you have uh, on slash um, L, you have um, the devices, etc. On etc, you have a lot of configuration files. etc store dot D is basically uh, all the files that or um, including RC uh, control levels. Um, on the older systems, etc, rc, star.d, and that would be like uh, rc0 through run level control, they call it, uh, 0 through 6, and 0 for uh, being uh, shut down, 1 is single user mode, 2 is multi-user mode, 3 is uh, multi-user with NFS, 4 is not used, 5 is um, with graphic, 6 is for reboot, and then on um, Solaris,